politics tonight. And with me on the program tonight is a former member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Ehiozua Johnson Agunayuman, tonight to discuss the politics and the 2024 governorship race. All right, Honorable, let's uh, go on with the conversation. Now, having reeled out your agenda for a state, let's look at the number. More than 30 aspirants are said to be jostling to succeed Governor Abaseki. What's your take on this number? Can you come, come in with that question, please? I, I didn't get it. More than 30 aspirants are said to be jostling to succeed uh, Governor Abaseki. What's your take on this number? Well, before I go to that, let me say, there's a popular saying that Edo State, they said Benin is an Asian city. No. I want to say without fear of favor that, uh, wow, Edo State should not be known for Asian city. It should be known for development. Being said that the population in Edo State or Benin City Foundation City, it is by history because of what the city went through. We are conqueror. The Benins are known to be intelligent, exposed, schooled, and dogged and fearless. But the good people of Edo State are known for one thing. We are compassionate, we are intelligent, we are good people. Whether you are from Edo South, Edo North, Edo Central, we are good people. Edo All right, Kambaki. So that's what I'm saying. Whether you ask me that the question you are asking, why are the numbers so much? Well, because everyone wants to try to do what they can. They are angry about what is happening in our state. Everybody is angry to see that a do state that used to be known for positive things, for greater things, how can a governor, I'm sorry to say this, a statutory order, a statutory order, money men for the traditional council, BTC, Bini Traditional Council, be with head, which is against the law of the land, is an aberration. No one had the right to stop a statutory order. No government, no. It's a crime. It's an offense. It's a breach. It's a violation of the code of conduct for public officer and also the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's a violation of the Constitution of the Federal right. Republic of Nigeria. For anyone across the country, especially in my state, to stop a statutory order, money made for the people, the traditional institution, you decided to withhold or withhold it. That is wrong. Let us not play partisan politics. This is not about politics now. This is about a violation of the Constitution. That the good people of Edo State, we must rise up. We must challenge this. We cannot turn our traditional institution to mockery. Every Edo sons and daughters must rise up. Enough is enough. I have been called. I have been questioned. I have been interrogated. But I stand, to stand on the path of truth and fact. Because I took an oath. I must uphold and defend the constitution without being sentimental. Not because I'm protesting for governorship, but the truth must be told. That is the reason a lot of all these aspirants are eager to change the narrative. But I believe right. we must have one. And I believe I have the capacity. I do have the capacity. Having seen what I have done in the past, having worked closely with the former governor of Edo State, as his most senior aide, and one of the most closest persons to him, because I will say that I went to the school of thought under Comrade Adams Oshomole as the governor of Edo State then. Having been a former board of director of Nigeria Railway, you cannot write my name out 
the success of the Nigerian Railway in this country. Having been a member of the Federal Commissioner Code of Conduct today, I am doing the best to fight corruption because when you fight corruption, corruption fight back at you. And we continue to fight corruption. All right, Honorable Having Johnson. Having been a member, Federal House of Rep, a member of the House of Rep, representative, yes, I move motion. I sponsor bills, bills that reflect the concerns of all Nigerians, not bills that is all about me or for me or with me. Bills that speak to the truth, to the fact of this great nation. A those state can be better. Yes, I have the capacity to do justice. Yes, that's why I have, I have thrown my weight. I've decided to appeal to all national leaders, state leaders of our great party to look at Honorable EJ. I have the capacity. Honorable yes, Johnson, we're gradually running out of time as we still have a lot to talk about. So I wanted to talk about this uh, field between Governor Obasaki and his deputy, Philip Shaibu, uh, which by every indication signals a big battle ahead. What impact do you think this will have on the race? Well, uh, that is their own issue. I wouldn't want to dwell on what is happening between the governor and his deputy. You know, what I can say is this. Do you know it's a sin to God and to mankind that a betrayer will always have his own judgment day? Whatever is happening between them, I will allow them to solve their problem themselves. I will allow them to solve their problem themselves. So I'm not going to dwell what is happening about Governor Basaki and his deputy. They know what they are fighting for or fighting about. I'm not there. I don't know what happened. I understand the governor. I understand the deputy governor. They are all not happy against each other. You know, maybe something happened. I don't know. So I don't want to be part of it to talk about the issue. I don't know. So, I don't so you know agree about. with those who have said so this? I will abstain myself from talking about what I don't know about. Honorable, so you agree with those who have said this is karma playing out for Shuaibu, uh, for betraying former governor Oshamala in 2020. Is that it? I'm sorry, I couldn't get it. I'm asking, is it that you agree with those who have said this is karma playing out for Philip Shuaibu for betraying former governor uh, Adams Oshamala in 2020? Well, you have just said it. You know, there's what we call the law of karma. The law of karma will always come to haunt you. Right. It will not tell you the day it will come. Definitely, if you knock at your door, when the time definitely comes. And that is what has just happened. The law of karma has taken its own course. That is my answer for you. All right. So, Governor Basaki was reported to have said Emilio Kong won't work in a Doe 2024 election, which is uh, tantamount to asking his deputy to drop his governorship ambition. Do you see Shoaibu joining the APC to contest this election? Well, uh, our party, APC, is open for everyone. Uh, I'm not the one to tell him to join or not to join. So, at the time, I was in AC, ACN, APC, before I joined PDP, and uh, before I came back home many years ago. And I'm telling you, if he wants to come, and if he's allowed, the opportunity to give it to him, there's nothing wrong about that. So that is all business, cup of tea. Uh, I'm saying that he's a member of PDP, and I don't belong to that uh, you know, arena. But I want to say, without fear of favor, uh, going further to your question, uh, we have three senatorial districts in those states. My prayer is that all of us should work together as one family. At those states, whether you call it the Ishan or the Benins or the Afema or you know, Esako, or uh, one, we are all the same family. All right. You know, all right. if you want to go back to the or origin, the, the origin of uh, Edo State, you will see that we are all the same 
brothers and sisters. So, so Honorable Johnson, those that are saying that, uh, those, are saying, those that are saying that it must be one, you know, senatorial. I think politics is about, you know, dialogue, consultation, bring, being able to present yourself, being able to bring, you know, superior argument, being able to reach out to people, to converse for support. It's not by force. And at the end of the day, the good people of Edo State will decide. So for me, I just want to say this. Those are because I got a test message even now here before I went on air that I should remember Edo Central must take it now or never. And when I read the test, Honorable, I, I, you I was a little bit on. sad. Let me take you back to what uh, Senator Shobale said about this. I mean, when asked about the possibility of having Shoaibu in the party, he said APC is not a dumping ground. So what do you think the deputy governor can do if it truly has the ambition to contest this governorship election? Yeah, that is what our leader, our leader said. There's a reason why he said that. Because, you know, you don't expect someone that he brought up I mean, he brought, he brought him up, raised, supported him in all ramification. That's what I said a while ago. Uh, the law of karma definitely will come, unexpected. And uh, knowing Comrie for, for the person that I happen to have known, and know him, Comrie, even though when you have offended him, if you go to him to apologize, Comrie will forgive you. He doesn't hold grudges. I know him for this. Maybe what he said before, no, today, whether I have changed his mind, I don't know. But the comrade that I know, he easily forgives people. He always tells me, EJ, what do I have to hold grudges for in this life? So a lot of people have offended him. Look at what happened a while ago. Comrade went to visit the governor. Looking at what the governor did to him. People will ask, people will say, how can comrade go? I said, that, he has a forgiving spirit. That is who he is. You can't change him. You'll be surprised tomorrow if a uh, deputy governor comes to plead and apologize to him. He will say, okay, I'm forgiving you. You know, yes, that is comrade for you. you know, he has always forgiven those who have offended him. Right. A lot of people have offended him. I'm not going to mention their name. He has always forgiven them. I mean, I will be quarreled. I say, what, what, what? this is a man that has been saying this is something you say. No, don't worry, EJ. Leave them. All right, Leave them. So, now, let's, I'm not going to speak no. on that, you know, on, on my own perception is just what I have to say, that Comrade say he has a forgiving spirit. So, that is that. All right, thank you so much, uh, Honorable. I've been speaking with a former member of the House of Representatives. Honorable Ehiozua Johnson at Bunaima tonight to discuss the adult politics and the 2024 governorship race. Thank you so much for coming on politics tonight. Thank you. The pleasure Thank you for you. having me. Thank you to all Nigeria and the group of Edo State. God bless you all.